what's up y'all got a family to feed so let's get into this tea we're about to get into uh olivia talks about her battle with anxiety and depression uh lack of family support and her relationship with will let's get it and diagnosed with like anything when you look up symptoms of anxiety i have anxiety when you look up symptoms of depression you know what let's say past tense i don't claim that anymore so i'm not claiming that i had really bad anxiety and i had really bad depression sometimes you don't even know like what you're going through you know what i mean like you can be depressed and like you can just be like in a funk for like months but like you don't realize it let's just backtrack before i even did social media before i was even on social media i was a very social person like i love to be social i worked in um hospitality um doing serving and yeah i actually liked interacting with like strangers i like talking to people and I like that. So I never had an anxiety issue. I haven't been diagnosed. Having kids was a happy time for me, but it was also a emotional time just because I didn't have the family support that like I thought I had. I grew up in like two different households. Both my parents had different spouses. And honestly, a, a majority, a lot of my growing up i've always felt like i just was never put first as a child like mm. i felt like my parents always put their spouse and their spouse's life over me so i come back to new york and basically the feeling of like what i wanted of that like that feeling that i thought i was gonna get i didn't get it Mm. and yeah so i just <clears throat> women be really needing help from their baby daddies that's who you need to help that really like put me down Having kids was a happy time for me, but it was all for a long time. I just felt really lonely. You're not. They asses need help too. Facts. Happy within yourself. I'm just saying, she can't be, not that she can't be upset with her family, but you know, that's a role that I feel like he was supposed to be playing. If you feel long, like a relationship. And maybe he was, maybe that wasn't enough. I don't know. She cannot feel that void of like a wound that there's just certain wounds that your relationship cannot fill that void you have to do the work you have to help yourself get help and yeah so i think i wasn't um I was projecting a lot so a lot of the anger that I was feeling towards like inside of myself I was projecting like onto my relationship maybe onto family maybe onto friends I was just projecting and yeah I had a I had a really big problem of not being able to control my emotions for a long time I just felt really lonely you're not happy within yourself if you feel long like a relationship cannot fill that void i don't know my whole motivation was gone like i just felt like like besides gold juice it was like who, who is live you know what i mean like what is live like what is live want to do shit like that and it's because i put myself in that box nobody put me in that box i put myself in that box and yeah so i just got to that point of just just feeling sad feeling lost but, and at the same time will is still his own individual he's still trying to like you know do his own thing and he's very ambitious and one thing about will is he pushes me bro any idea i come up with he's like yeah you should do this you should do that right. he just always pushes me i'm the person that i'm the one I'm the one that limits myself 
nobody limits me i limit myself i don't know my whole motivation was gone like or y'all think my relationship is like the reason why i am the way i am and it's really not obviously your relationship plays a part into like everything but it is not the main thing of like what the fuck i be going through you know what i mean like so that when i see shit like that i'm just like bro the, the relationship really be a percentage. A lot of time, that's why everybody say like, you cannot make somebody else happy if you're not happy. It's like literally no way in hell. Okay. So if you're not working on yourself <clears throat> and working on the best version, you know, that you can be, how the hell you going to be able to give it to somebody else? It's just no way in hell. So I love that. Um, she recognizes that. And also, Will still got to be free because she right about that too. Okay, you know, just hold him down because you depressed. I don't even know. I forgot to say this. I did forget to say this. But going back to like when I was depressed and living in New York and me and Will were arguing. I will say he ain't the one who watching the kids. And it shows because he be outside. <laughs> but, you know. A lot. I definitely would break up with him a lot of times. I definitely would just do toxic behavior type things and like, you know, say mean things. I've told him before, I don't want to marry him. I have said that before out of anger or y'all think my relationship is like the Damn. reason why. I'm taking a step back, you guys. I'm taking a step back. I'm focusing on me. I want to travel. I want to start businesses. I want to vlog more. I want to be more interactive with you guys. And that's really what I want to do. And when it comes to relationships, my relationship is just not my number one thing right now. And it kind of. And you can respect that. It hasn't been for a while, but. Me and Will do love each other unconditionally and we've been together for a long time. So it's like we're really like it's 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 an attachment that's really hard to like break. I'm in a way better mental space now. Um way, way better. Like way better. So every day is just progress. I'm taking a step back, you guys. I'm taking a step back. The number one important thing for me is just being the best mom that i can be being like super mom i want them to like grow up and be like my mom is such a boss as bitch. like mm -hmm. she gets me every like i want to get my kids everything they want they could want they could need like i just want to provide everything for my children that's like number one priority number two i really want to build my self-confidence i really miss doing youtube and i should have been doing my own youtube it's just like i told you guys i was dealing with depression i was dealing with insecurities and that's just it's hard it's hard to like deal with all those things and then just come on a camera and try to act like you're perfect yeah the number one important thing okay mama I'll tell your story and he's supportive of it so shout out to them for being adults man like some things just everybody ain't as toxic as people think I mean we all have toxic ways clearly but it's also people out here that's just way 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 worse I admire how a lot of them dealing with their breakups these days because <laughs> I have had uh I am not a good example at all um but, you know, we all different. We all go through what we got to go through and we grow through what we got to grow through. Damn it. So shout out to them. Um, but y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.